Hi, my name is Alan Smith. I'd like to introduce you to a new product line, fairly new out of the microglass family called Micro Set and Cure. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I've been in the industry for what, pushing 50 years now as a swimming pool renovation contractor, a replastering tradesman. I was involved with the National Plasters Council, doing lots of the research and development uh, over the years. And plus, a lot of the other associations I've been involved with from CPSA, IPSA, Pool Service Association, United Pool Association, on and on. I've had this unique skill set of trying to figure out problems in our industry. And I've been given the opportunity to be in front of a lot of people to explain this and the opportunity to learn a lot with the resources from these associations. So with all that, I'd like to go into this product line and with that background, why I think this is such a tremendous product. This micro set and cure, basically what it is, it's a setting and curing agent. But the benefits are so much more that once we take a look at this than just setting up Portland-based cements. And it also adds as a, a, a curing agent. Uh, curing is the um, ability to make cement uh, have a good environment so it has proper hydration. Hydration is the coming together of all the ingredients and water to form a hard cement paste. But to allow that to do it uniformly, uh, that, that requires a proper curing environment, and that's what this product does. So once this used, it's actually added at the plaster mixing cycle. So when everything's being batched out at the truck and mixed, this liquid product is simply mixed in with the water, then the pigment, and then the aggregates, and then the other cements and whatever other ingredients we're putting in. And then it's obviously pumped or wheelbarrowed to the backyard. So why is this so important to know about this product? Well several things that makes this a, a tremendous product, not just the setting agent, of course, but one of the biggest benefits we notice from this on the application side is the workability. The finishers absolutely love this. We're going to get into that and kind of go over that. The aggregate exposure and compaction with all exposed aggregates, this is always the challenge is to get uniform exposure and deep compaction. Pigment distribution, allowing the pigments to diversify amongst the cement when it hydrates so it's uniform color uniformity not just at the time when it's troweling but how does it dry and how does it look especially on the smooth troweled side the craze crack reduction or crazing is greatly reduced and then as a pump aid it works really well in that environment some of the other benefits of course on the long-term side are the startup times greatly reduced dusting reduction plaster dust is reduced either minimally or substantially. And then, of course, the water chemistry etching resistance. So these are just some of the wonderful benefits by simply mixing this product down. So let's talk about the pumping and workability with this. So when you pump and spray on products, so very often additives are used to prevent hose packing and further lubricate the cement so it slides through the hose, especially on lengthy runs. Our product acts like a pumping agent and it is very slippery. The product itself, just wet, is very slippery. And you add it to cement and it comes through the hose very nicely. And when it's sprayed on, it uh, comes out very uniformly on the spray patterns too, as you'll see. The workability side of things is this is where the finishers are going to love this. And pretty much every place it's tried, once the finisher's done a pool or two, they kind of, they don't want to use anything else. The type of workability benefit that we see, and I'm a finisher myself, and I realized this on the first job I did, is on my, this not my spread and first hits when you first are shaping it out, but even the second hit, it shapes up and holds the body so easily and so quickly that it almost looks like it's laid down to finish on your second hit. It really shapes up quickly, even when it's still fairly wet. So it gives you a lot of extra time to work the pool and relax a little bit and not get behind on these things. And it lets you shape it up so nicely that it gets better, straighter radiuses. It allows you to get flatter areas because your big long trowels can certainly level it off better. It's not taken off so quick that it gives it the body to work. And on the very right, you see me actually in a pool. The ability to get this flat and laid down uh, is amazing. You just have to try it, just not watching us. 
It also has a, a unique ability to fill in spike holes quite a bit dif different, how it collapses the spike hole a little bit differently. It's not, it doesn't do it on its own. You do have to put the pressure and rip it, but it is different and it does seem to add to that uh, spike hole reduction. So those are some of the great things on the workability side of it. When we wash these finishes with the set and cure, you get to notice that you can wash extremely early, sometimes almost immediately after the first spread, that this cement now with our set and cure, they has a unique body to it so it can actually hold up to a wash and hold the aggregate without falling out. So much so that you can use large aggregate, small aggregate, and abalone shell and glass all mixed together and on an early wash, your abalone shell and your small aggregate is not washing out, which has always seemed to have been the problem in the past. This holds it together much better, along with what I call a lubricity, where you can actually have a sliding factor, but there's also to it to hold the aggregate in. It's very unique how it's able to do both of that. The cement's still soft. You can get an easier compaction to push the exposed aggregate back into the cement. So you have more cement grabbing the whole aggregate, and which holds a lot longer durability for that finish because the aggregate's thoroughly embedded in the cement. This is what we hear from just about every crew that uses that, so much so even that these outside and inside radiuses, you can wash extremely heavy to get really good exposure, and then it holds it, and then you get a, a good compaction back on those. So you don't got the heavy cream and color streaks on the inside and outside. It has a much more uniform look to it, which is a big benefit. So those two things combined, the washing early, and then even later on when you're washing that product off, the workability happens to work really well on high detail pools where you got to get early washes and get in front of them. You know, bar stools, a lot of uh, inside, outside radius, and it's hard to get two areas. These early washes allow you a lot more time, especially when the material holds up to the wash, and then you can get it compacted back in for extremely good and even exposure. Major, major benefit with this. So you can take a C plus pool and make it a B plus pool just by our, our product alone. Okay, so here's probably one of the most visual benefits you're going to see besides exposure is pigment distribution and color uniformity. A couple different things there. The pigment distribution, like of these two samples here, it's both the exact same manufacturer. The samples are made, one with our product, one without. The top one is our product mixed in, but with a very a much darker, more uniform, enhanced look. And so what our product does and the uniqueness of our product, it creates a separation of the cement molecules and the pigment molecules so they don't clump up, which has always been the problem in the cement industry, whether it's smooth trial finishes or even exposed finishes. We have a tendency to separate the pigment molecule and it is very noticeable right off the bat. And so that's a big, big benefit for the quality of the look and to get the pigment throughout the mix uh, uniformly homogenized, much more so than traditional uh, mixing methods. With that, you also have a degree of color enhancement. And when I mean the color enhancement, not just from when you're installing it, it looks uniform, but even after it's done and it's hydrating, this is a smooth trowel, dark blue finish. That's a notoriously tough pool to make look uniform. The set and cure has a great ability to make these uniform smooth trowel finishes look so much more almost like a paint job on a core. That's something that's escaped the pool industry since the conception of pigmented finishes. This brings it back to that uniformity. And then after the set and cure, if you do spray micro glass, on a colored finish, you pretty much lock that uniformity in. This is an amazing product, and you can just try it on one or two and see for yourselves at this uniform color on smooth trial finishes. Here's a brilliant blue. Look at that. It's a CLI finish, and it just came out magnificent with the set and cure in the mix, enhancing the pigment to its maximum benefit and distributing it perfectly through this whole mix. It was a very stunning pull. Other application benefit, the craze crack reduction is enormous. And the hotter environments where we have a lot of dry shells or a long-term filling because of either trucked in water or something like this, we have a lot of craze crack 
issues like in big commercials if you have a low water volume fill really works well in the commercial environment in the hotter environments we might be using uh, colored finishes in direct sunlight so another big benefit is the startup time with uh, reduced dusting uh, plaster dusting and startup fill water so often with a low calcium hardness has a tendency to pull and dissolving that calcium hydroxide to maybe buffer a low alkalinity or a low calcium fill our product helps solidify that calcium hydroxide so you don't get that dusting as much of course the micro glass added on top of that would almost eliminate the dusting but our product at least mixed in would greatly reduce it and then the startup time if you're not getting as much plaster dust and also our water will have a much quicker balanced ph within a day or two you're not going to have as many trips going back to balance it so those are two great benefits by a simple mix-in product that you will notice immediately at startup time so let's take a look at this picture here and this kind of is a summation of what I just talked about. This middle picture is just a beautiful, you know, aqua blue finish that it just came out pristine. You would just hope for this type of uniformity and finish color and compaction. The picture on the left, you can see this is an advanced pebble solution exposure method, and it works brilliant with that. And you'll talk to these applicators that use that when they use the set and cure out. Even the exposure becomes on the cement washout and maintaining a really terrific color, especially in these high detail pools. And so all in all, these finishes, these high, you know, uh, engineered finishes that require so much care and application precision is really, really enhanced in such a robust way with the uh, set and cure that allows you to give um, a lot more quality. It can take a mediocre crew and almost make them like an A crew because of the ability to stay on top of it. But uh, we're just really proud that these types of jobs or have confidence in our product to use them uh, to create these types of beautiful and stunning uh, environments. So let's talk about adding this to the mix and how simple this is. So basically, Set and Cure is a liquid that comes in five gallon buckets and our additive suggestion is on premix products. We put about seven ounces per bag in the mix. Where you use a 94 pound uh, bag of uh, Portland cement, you would use 25 ounces when you're mixing it that way. Either way, it goes by the cement volume and it's simply put in during the mixing cycle with the water. And then you can add all your other ingredients. So it's a simple mix formulation at the time of mixing and just remember those two combinations those are the guidelines go under our website it has a lot more information on it the microglass llc.com